Welcome to bestappsite.com, your source for iPhone, iPad, and iPod Touch news and reviews. My name is Terry White, and today we're going to take a look at a cool app for flowcharting or just brainstorming. It's called InstaViz, and let me go ahead and get started with it. I'm not much of a flowchart or graph person, but I love the way this app works. Let's go ahead and hit the plus sign to create a new one. So here we are on a blank page. And here's what I love about it. I don't have to worry about picking tools to draw the various shapes. I have a tool right here. It's my finger. So for example, if I want to draw a circle, I just draw a circle and it creates the circle for me. I want to draw a square? No problem. Create the square. Triangle? Great. There's my triangle. And I can just keep going on and on. Now, of course, I may want to connect these two. So for example, I just draw a line between them and it does my connections for me. I want another shape, another square for another choice, and again, use the triangle to draw to it, and it connects those as well. Now, of course, once you get your shapes all built, then you probably want to put in something for the text besides just the numbers that it gives each one by default. So, for example, I can double tap on one, and I can get to the label. And, of course, it brings up the keyboard for me to do that, so let's go ahead and say, I'm moving... And we'll give that a question mark. There it is. And we'll just go ahead and tap out of that. And now it's gone ahead and put the moving text in there. So I can again begin to make my decision choices. I need another triangle for another choice. We'll just connect those two. And then I can go in, for example, and I can say that that's a yes. You get the idea. And that one's a no. So, very quick, very easy to work with, and of course, you don't have to live with just black and white. You have your variety of choices of different colors, not only for the text, but also the fill colors as well. So, if I wanted to fill this one with the color, I can go ahead and tap the fill, then pick the color that I want, and we'll just fill that with an orange, tap out of it, and now I fill that square with an orange. So, you can change your text color, your fill color, and, of course, you can continue to work on this. Now, what do you do once you're done? Well, we'll tap the Done button. Here, let's back up a little bit. And then I can go ahead and go back to my graphs. So it's created that first graph, which, of course, I can go in and rename if I need to. But let's go ahead and hit the File button. And we'll just go ahead, and I can do multiple ones if I had more than one. But we'll just go ahead and say that we want to file that one. And now we can go in and say that I want to email it, for example. And when I bring up my email choices, I have the choice of linking it to an InstaViz account or, more importantly, formatting it for GraphViz, which is their desktop version, or Acrobat PDF, PNG file as an image, or a Vizio VDX file. So that way I can start something on the iPad and email it out to others just to look at it as a PDF or image or continue working on it with the GraphViz desktop product or in the GraphViz format. So, you get the idea. Very cool to be able to do all this directly on the iPad and with my favorite tool. That's it for this quick review of InstaViz, which is available for the iPad and iPhone on the App Store. It's $9.99. And see more on bestappsite.com. My name is Terry White. Thanks for watching.